everyone, and welcome to our Touch Base, I can't say Touch Base Thursday, welcome to our Facebook Live Touch Base event for Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve, um, and I am happy to be going live with you all a day earlier um, so that we can still spend some time together stamping and creating pretty things. So as you guys are popping on and you're able to find me, please comment and tell me hello and we will get started in just a little bit here. Um, hi, Patty. Uh, those of you that might be new to my Facebook Lives, welcome. I am Kim Vogel. I'm a demonstrator from Mount Pleasant, Michigan, and I normally do my Facebook Lives every Thursday night, but because of um, Thanksgiving, decided to go live with all of you tonight so that we can still create and have fun. So happy Thanksgiving Eve. Um, hello to Carol and Sonia. Oh, look at all these names popping up. Philomena and Penny and Carol and who else here? Courtney. If I said Courtney twice, I'm sorry. Karen, welcome, ladies. Um, I've got some awesome projects designed to share with you tonight. And although it's going to throw me off that today is, I'm going to think that t tomorrow is Friday because I went live with all of you tonight. And so it should be Thursday, right? Um, so anyway, I know it's going to totally throw me off. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that I will probably have to go live with you next week on Wednesday as well. So next week, I will not be seeing my children at all. Um, they have dance um, rehearsal for their Nutcracker performance um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, from like 5 until 9, right after school, all the way through. And then their Nutcracker performances are on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So Thursday night, I'm actually going to be volunteering um, to help before the, the event starts. Uh, so, and then Friday and Saturday, um, I'll probably be, be uh, going to, I'm going to probably guess I'm going to be going to all of them because why not, right? So anyway, just so you guys know, I'll be posting um, a message out over the next week, but next week's um, Facebook Live will also be on Wednesday so that I'm able to um, do my volunteer time and be able to see my girls perform. They have put tons of hours into their Nutcracker performance. And so cannot wait to see it. So um, anyway, um, yeah, it should be it should be awesome. So uh, and most of you know, I don't hardly ever change um, unless it's things like that, that I have to for sake of being able to still be a mom, as we all know, um, that has to um, be a priority in, for me as well. So but anyway, I'm so excited. So if any of you are, you know, local to the area, we still have tickets available. They range in price from $10 to $15, depending on where you want to want to sit. It's taking place at our local high school in Mount Pleasant. And so, um, yeah, so performances are all three nights on th Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all at 7 p.m. So Anyway, very exciting for them, but they are going to be very tired at the end of next week. I can tell you that already. So anyway, um, so I took the afternoon off today to be able to spend a little bit of time prepping for um, Thanksgiving. I'm going to be cooking Thanksgiving um, just for my family tomorrow. Um, Matt and I and the girls and then Matt and Nicole will come over um, in the afternoon, evening and spend some time with us. And then I'll be heading to my mom's. Um, oh, thank you, Courtney. I'll be heading over to my mom's um, on uh, Saturday, and we're going to do Thanksgiving with my mom and my, my family, my brother and my sister on Sunday. So I get Thanksgiving twice. So anyway, yeah, I should mention about my little jacket that Courtney mentioned. So I do actually have um, my logo gear shop open right now if anybody's interested in um, sporting some awesome logo gear. Uh, this is my jacket, and, and they, they do embroider um, my little logo on there. It's so cute. So um, that is open right now. Um, I know I've had a couple people buy them for Christmas gifts, and so um, it's open till November 28th. Um, prices are very reasonable. They ship directly to you if you're interested, and then... Um, they also, if you're local, um, provide local pickup where I'll pick everything up and it's already sorted and then I will work on getting it to everyone. So anyway, um, I just want to again want to welcome everyone um, and thank you for joining me on a Wednesday evening. So um, I think that's all I had in the way of announcements. There are a few things I want to talk to you about regarding classes and promotional items I have going on, but let's do the sharing part first and then we'll talk about that and then we'll do some stamping. So um, most of you know, you guys are already sharing. I love it. If you share my video, you'll get into the drawing to receive a free goodie. And the um, two prizes this week are the um, 
uh, what were they? I gotta look them up again. This is the um, Pale Papaya ribbon, and then this is the Pool Party Striped ribbon. Our two lucky winners, so the winner of the Pool Party Striped ribbon is Joanne Boyle, so congratulations to Joanne. Um, and I don't believe, Joanne, I have your um, mailing address, so feel free to send me a private message with your address, and I'll get that out for you. Congratulations. And then the winner of the Pale Papaya ribbon is Penny Orm. Oh, Ram, Orm. So congratulations, Penny. I have to always still call her name the wrong one because she let me call it wrong for years. So now that I'm saying it right, I still say it wrong. That will be a forever joke with Penny. All right, up for grabs this next week um, is um, a bolt of the, what is this? Oh yeah, more pale, pale papaya and white ribbon. This ribbon pairs together really nicely with the peach bundle. And then the matte black dots. Okay, so uh, two people will be drawn next week for those. So yay, congratulations. Um, so anyway, congratulations to all of you. Um, I want to make sure that you guys know too that my card sketch challenge is still open and we've gotten some really awesome entries so far this month. Um, and quite a few of you have been doing that. Um, Courtney, I think, has been the overachiever and posted a couple. Um, so And so has, I think, um, uh, Beth. So I love it, you guys, that you're all participating in that. That is just designed for us all to have fun. Um, and I'm actually going to be posting the December one um, early next week. Um, well, middle of the week. And my um, December one for my um, sample for you guys is going to be with new product. A little sneak peek at some new stuff. Okay? So anyway... Um, so here's some of the things that I have in the way of announcements. I have an ordering promotion that has opened up if, uh, as of yesterday. Um, if you're on my email list, you would have gotten the email this morning about it. So I mentioned to you guys a couple weeks ago that I was close to my 500,000 career today sales with Stampin' Up! Close to a half a million, which still just blows my mind. Um, every time that I'm close to 100,000, I do this promotion. I've been doing it from the time I was close to 100,000. So I've been doing it every um, $100,000. So I am within, give or take, $1,000 away from that, um, from that milestone. And so anybody who puts in an order from now until the time I achieve that, will receive um, a free embellishment in the mail for me. I'm just gonna surprise you with a fun embellishment. And then the order that puts me over, and I'll announce it when I'm there, but the order that puts me over the $500,000 mark will receive a $100 shopping spree of Stampin' Up! product. Um, something, again, that I have done every single um, time I'm close to that 100,000 additional milestone. So, um, I just, when you, I sit and think about 500,000 and I, I, that's just like stamps, ink, paper. It just is mind blowing. And so I just, again, want to thank all of you that support me. Um, my uh, Stampin' Up! anniversary is actually today. Um, and I didn't even, um, think about that until about noon, but I joined Stampin' Up! on November 24th, 11 years ago today. So, um, so you have an ordering promotion to go along with my Stampin' anniversary. Um, so anyway, and I don't envision quitting this ever. I love it. Um, I love inspiring all of you and creating for all of you, um, and all that awesome stuff. So anyway, but yeah, today is my Stampin' Up! anniversary. So, um... Anyway, I do still have a few um, classes that are open or that I have kits or whatever available for. We have one kit left for the um, Whimsical Tree class, and I only have one kit left for the Painted Christmas class, and I have a handful left for the Sweet Stockings, which is the cute little pets. So if you're interested in those, um, those were for my um, the month of November, and so November um, tutorials will be sent out to you guys. Thank you all so very much. Um, but November tutorials will be sent out and class pictures will be sent out um, the, over the weekend. So we're hoping to get the kits out. To, um, they won't go out tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving. So they'll go out Friday. Um, you'll get them early next week. Um, and then I wanted to let you guys know about a um, Black Friday promotion that I'm going to be offering. So um, I'm going to be offering adhesive bundles for sale. Who can't use fresh new adhesive, right? I'll have two or three different options available. 
all including different um, different adhesives. But basically, you're going to be getting a package of dimensionals. And um, so the price of the adhesive, you're going to be getting about $6 in adhesive for free. So you're going to be getting the dimensionals for free and most of the liquid glue for free. Um, I, I, that is kind of my, my promotion, is that we all need new adhesive going into the new year. So I am providing um, a discount on my adhesive bundles. And um, those will be posted and you'll see the cute little makeup and the little bag that they're going to go in. Um, uh, uh, I'll post that probably tomorrow sometime. So that will be my, um, my and I'll run that, that sale through um, through the weekend. So Black Friday and Saturday with a small business Saturday. But I'm going to be offering adhesive bundles. Um, we're able to, uh, and I can get those to you right away. So if you want one right away, we can get them to you. Um, I'll have them ready by the middle of next week. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much. I, like I said, I love what I do and love um, and coming live with all of you and sharing the um, Stampin' Up! with you as well. So, um, and then my cabin class. So most of you watched my Facebook Live last week where I showcased the cabin cards and the cabin framed art. And that is going to be, be being um, prepped this weekend. So if you are interested in that, please um, either comment, message me, let me know because um, I need to have final counts um, in so that we know how many of those to prep for. Local class is December 1st, so if you're able to attend um, if you're local in the area, otherwise those kits will be shipped out um, hopefully um, by the end of next week as well. Okay, so with that, I believe, let me see, I talked about my ordering promotion, talked about my cabin class. Um, yeah, oh, one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys, an announcement that Stampin' Up! told all of us demonstrators, and I just want to make sure I talk about it briefly with all of you, because um, I do have some of you that put in orders with me. Beginning December 1st, Stampin' Up! is no longer going to allow their products to go in what they call a back order status. So if something is not readily available in the warehouse, um, you're not going to be able to order it. And I actually like that approach a lot better because I know some of you um, purchased a punch. Let's say, for instance, the penguin punch or the deer punch. And you've been waiting two, three, four weeks for that. Um, the global shipping issues is not just um, specific to Stampin' Up! Companies all over the U.S. are struggling with that. But it, what it was doing was causing... Um, frustration for customers as they wait for those products. They've purchased them, but they're on back order and you're waiting and you're waiting. And maybe the project that you wanted to use them for or the event that you wanted to use it for is long gone and you still haven't received your product. Um, and the other thing is, is that it's costing the company a lot of money to send those back orders out individually. So as um, things would go um, uh, are depleted in the in their warehouse, they'll go immediately to what's called unorderable. So we won't be able to even order them until they are back in stock. Now, what does that mean for you? And what am I going to be able to provide to help you with that new process? Um, as you are ordering, if something, if you're ordering, if you're one of my online customers and you order directly online, um, if you go to order it, it will say unorderable. <clears throat> Feel free to reach out to me. I can give you an estimated date as to when that item will be available. Those of you that order with me locally, um, I will be checking on what we call our inventory status report, which is available to us as demonstrators, um, so that I, I will hopefully not even let you attempt to order something and pay for something when it's not available. So um, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited that they're, they're taking this approach. I think it's going to be a little bit more manageable. Um, for us and, for, and a little bit more easier for you. Um, if something's not available, we can always tweak the project or tweak what you're wanting to work on. Um, what's more frustrating to me is waiting for a product when you don't really know that when it's going to come in. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, and as always, you can always message me and ask me any questions. That's what I'm here for as, a, as your demonstrator. I'm happy to help you in any way I can through that transition, but I do think that it is for the greater good, um, even though there's going to be some bumps as we process and, and work through that. All right, so with that, I'm going to transition my camera down to my stamp area. I'm going to be sharing with you tonight the, it's a, I call it a mega suite, but it's the painted Christmas suite. It includes two bundles. Beautiful ribbon, beautiful, um, nice gold leaves that are nice and flat for putting on cards and things. And I, I created a cute little bag, a little 3D bag, again, about a half an hour before I went live with all of you, um, so that I can share with you a cute little bag that would be a great little party favor for events or hold little ornaments or something like that. So with that, I'm going to transition my camera down and let's get creating. Okay. 
So you're going to get a little sneak peek here, first of all, of all of my fun little projects that we are going to be creating together. Hi, Peggy, and hi to Diane, and hi to Kathy. I see so we have some new people that just joined us, so hello. I know, Donna, you've got to be proud of me. Another 3D project. Woohoo! All right, so let me just unplug my external microphone because I don't need that anymore. All right, so here are our cute projects. So first off, I'm going to move a lot of them out of the way so you guys can't see them. Okay, and I know it's still, it's that it's not Thanksgiving yet, but yes, I changed my watch band. Um, I couldn't do the happy fall y'all anymore, so I went with my new Christmas one. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about the product that I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. So it is part of the Painted Christmas Bundle, and it's on page 16, 17 of our um, holiday catalog. And I'm gonna briefly talk to you about the awesome products in it and show you a little bit of them, okay? So first is the Designer Series Paper. So the Designer Series Paper, this is all about pine cones. So if you like pine cones, thank you, Janet. If you like pine cones, you're going to love this paper. So, and some of these papers have been cut up because I've been using them on project, projects tonight. Um, but the neat thing is, so this coordination is phenomenal because if you look at the stamp set, let me grab the stamp set right here. This piece of paper right here coordinates so well with this stamp set. The greenery, the little berries, I mean, everything about this piece right here coordinates with this stamp set. And then you have to move my computer, I got a horrible glare on it and I can't see all of you guys' comments. All right, and then we have this piece right here and this piece and the pine cones. You gotta love the pine cones, right? And this one, now this is the one that I used to make our cute little bag box that I'm gonna be showing you here in a little bit. And this one right here is probably one of my favorites. This would have been a really cute bag um, box as well. So at one side you have all of your like um, pine cones and your, you know, greenery. And then on the other side is where you have more of your, well, this has actually got a lot of different patterns in it as well, but not quite as colorful. They're more just on um, two or three color tones, the reds, the greens, things like that. Um, but again, very, very pretty paper. Okay, so this paper is called the um, Painted Christmas. It's $11.50. And then you have two different bundles that go along with this um, product suite. You have one that's called the Christmas Season and one that's called Christmas to Remember. So this is the Christmas Season. And the Christmas Season goes together with the Seasonal Labels Dies. Now, I really like these Seasonal Labels Dies because you have different shapes in here that you can use as well. So on my cards tonight, you're going to see me using a bunch of these different shapes. And these shapes, uh, again, are shapes that you can use on cards other than just the ones that we're going to be working on tonight. And then all of these other dies that are in here cut out all of your different stamped images that are here in your stamp set. So you got them that will line up perfectly here um, to be able to cut these things out. Okay. So again, really, really cool. I'm not going to put them all down, but you kind of get the idea. Um, they will pair up and line up really, really well. So anyway, yeah. Oh, Diana, you're funny. I don't blame you. I would not be very fond of them after that either. And thank you, Joanne, for the, the well wishes on my, my, any of you that joined me a little bit late. Yes, today is my official 11 year stamping anniversary. Um, I joined um, Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator 11 years ago today. Um, so it kind of, uh, you know, gets you kind of, it's hard to believe it's been 11 years, but it has been. All right. So this bundle right here is $54 purchased together and save 10%. And then the other bundle is called Christmas to Remember. And this one right here, um, it has a lot more of your greetings and things that go with it. And then in this bundle, you have some more dies. You have, and this one again has seen the love, but you have the more detailed dies, um, the pine cone dies, 
and um, this one right here. So you got some great, when I, you're gonna see me actually use this one. I think it's, maybe it's this one. One of them I use on one of the cards. And then you got some pine cones right here. So these are designed for you to be able to just cut out without really having to do any stamping, okay? Now this bundle is together sells for $60.25, all right? But you get a lot of dies for that. Now, do you need them both? Probably not. Um, but they do pair together really, really nicely, okay? And you're going to see that tonight when we get into the cards and things that I've got prepared to share with you. Okay, so that is the Christmas to Remember bundle. And then we have a couple of embellishments that go with this as well. One is this really gorgeous and pretty cherry cobbler and gold metallic ribbon. So I got to share with you guys a really funny story. So when I designed this class... Um, Jen does a lot of my kit preparation and she made the comment to me or wrote me a note that said, you're going to need to order more cherry and gold ribbon. No, no more cherry cobbler and gold and gold. I, I forget how she worded it, but I thought that she meant that I needed to buy cherry cobbler cardstock and gold ribbon. So I bought three packages of cherry cobbler cardstock and three bolts of a gold ribbon and it came in and I said, oh, um, that cherry cobbler cardstock that you needed came in. She goes, I didn't need cherry cobbler cardstock. It was this that she needed. And so I'm like, are you kidding me? So back to the, doing another order. Um, anyway, so that's my, how I remember this ribbon now because it's cherry cobbler and gold ribbon that she needed. Uh, but it's gorgeous. You can see here the detail to that ribbon. It's very, very pretty. And then you also have some gold holly leaves now these are so this ribbon is let me see how much this ribbon is eight dollars for 10 yards and then these gold holly leaves you get 30 pieces 15 each in two different sizes and with this um what i like about these so these are only 750 for 30 of them but they lay nice and flat on your card so if you are wanting um an embellishment on your card like i know my mom is always like when you do my cards make sure you do them nice and flat because she doesn't want to pay the extra shipping this would be a great embellishment to add on and other cards you wouldn't have to necessarily add them just on the cards you're making with this product suite but can you see the detail in them they have some really good you can see the veins of the leaves and everything um it's pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome this um these little embellishments the little gold leaves so and like i said they lay nice and flat and flush on your card and you get a lot for 750. So really, really good value. So those are the two um, embellishments that go with this product suite, and you're gonna see me using them here in just a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna start with that 3D project while my mind is fresh. So this is the 3D project. Um, I love it too, Joanne. So this is the 3D project that I'm gonna share with you tonight. Now you might be thinking, what would you do with a little bag this, this size? This would be the perfect size for like an ornament. You could use it for a party favor, put someone's name on here, um, hang their name down from it um, for their place setting. So you could even, you whip these together quick if you're really ambitious for Thanksgiving and use some fall themed paper. And um, you can also put candy in there, a gift card in there, all kinds of different things that you can do with this size bag. So I'm gonna show you how I made this. Let me find my measurements. I'll also add the measurements to the description of my video so that you have them up there as well, okay? So I used the painted Christmas designer series paper to be able to um, make this cute little project. So you're gonna be starting with a piece of six by 12 designer series paper. Now, this by doing that, you're gonna get two of those bags out of one piece of paper. So if you have um, the whole, whole pack of papers is 12 sheets, you can make 24 different, um, uh, bags out of that one pack of paper okay so <clears throat> what you're going to do and I already did the scoring to save a little bit of time but what you're going to do is on the long side so you're going to put your your paper in your trimmer on the long side you're going to score it at four five and three fourths nine and three fourths and eleven and a half so again you're going to score it at four five and three fourths nine and three fourths eleven and a half we're then gonna flip it onto the short side at the top and you're gonna score it at one and three fourths, all right? <clears throat> then what we're gonna do is we are gonna fold on those lines. So this is gonna be the bottom of my little bag or my little bag box, I like to call it. 
And then we're just gonna fold in on all these score lines. Now they are a little bit harder to see on designer series paper. And when you score, you don't want to um, score too hard because you have. A, I've had a tendency of scoring too hard and actually scoring and ripping the paper because I scored too hard. So um, if you want to, you can also use your bone folder to get some really good, clean, clean crisp folds on that. But you can kind of see how it's gonna kind of work. From there, we're gonna do a little bit of cutting, okay? So we are going to actually cut off this little tab here on this outer edge. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that right off. And then we are going to cut up on all of these little score lines. So that we can put this together like a little bag, okay? So you can kind of see it's gonna kind of all go together like this and go together to make my little bag, okay? So we're gonna put some adhesive down on, on these. Let me make sure I don't put adhesive down on the one that's going to be my outer one because that would not be good. Okay, so I'm not gonna put adhesive on this one, but I'm gonna put adhesive on all of the others. Okay, and we're gonna put the adhesive on this side because we're gonna fold it up. So you wanna make sure when you're putting the adhesive on that you don't put the adhesive where you don't want it necessarily to go, okay? So we are going to put the adhesive down on, let me find my adhesive. Now you can also use tear and tape if you would like. I am just going to be using our stamp and steel for these, but you could also use the steel plus because it would probably give you a little bit of a stronger bond um, but it's what I have here for doing my, my live with all of you. So that's what I'm going to do. And then from there, we're just gonna kind of put this together. Now, I'm gonna do my best to line up these seams. It's easier to do it when I pull the project closer to me. So bear with me if they're not perfect um, because I want to just make sure that you guys can see me how easy this is to do. Now, I'm also gonna put a little bit of adhesive <clears throat> along this edge. Um, because that is going to be where I glue that together. So it probably would have been easier to add the adhesive on this edge when it was flat, but it's okay. We're going to make it work here. You'll get the gist of it. There we go. All right. So we have that in there like that. Um, and then this one's going to go in. So this has got the adhesive on it. This one does not. So it's going to go like that. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your pair of scissors or something and kind of go on the inside, make sure you give it a really good little um, push there. And then this flap's gonna go on the inside and you're just going to line this up with that end and glue it down really good. Ta-da! Look how quick and simple and easy that is. Now, you could leave it open like that if you wanted to. You could decorate the front in any way that you would like, but I wanted to make mine more like a little pleated bag. So what I did is I just squeezed it. Those two ends kind of go in like that. See that? And then I, I have a crop -a dial so you'll need some kind of a little thingy to, to put holes in it. But I'm just gonna hold this together like that and I'm gonna use my bigger end, which is right here. And I'm just going to put um, a hole through that. And then I'm going to do it here on this other side. And I'm just kind of gauging about the same space, the same distance. All right. And then I used this awesomely awesome, awesome ribbon. Oh, that one's almost gone, so I can't use that one. Now, what you're gonna need to do, because this ribbon's a little bit, thank you, Diana and Philomena. I cut my ribbon at an angle. So if you ever struggle getting your ribbon through the holes, cut it at an angle. It gives you a good little point to be able to pull this through. Because it is a thicker ribbon, um, you need to have something to be able to grab onto it by. So I'm kind of just stringing it through here. So I'm going through that one first, and then I'm gonna put it through this one. And it's okay if I fray that little um, end because I'm just gonna cut that off anyway, okay? And then we're gonna do the same on this side. I'm gonna actually kind of 
cut off enough ribbon that I think I'm gonna need to be able to tie this into a nice little bow. And then we're gonna string this through on the other side the same way. So again, I cut that at an angle. And I'm just gonna pull that through. And then I'm gonna put it through the other side. Now, if my ribbon was narrower, I could probably do them both at the same time, but I found it was easier to just do it this way. And I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. So there's the back of my bag, I'll have that on there. And then from here, I just tied it in a bow. So again, you can put whatever you want in there for decoration or for you know, Christmas ornaments, candy, lottery tickets. Um, start naming it out uh, what you guys think you might put in this bag to give everybody else ideas. So feel free to comment with what you might put in a bag this size because it's the perfect size for so many different things. Gift cards, all kinds of stuff. And then from here, I'm just gonna tie it in a bow the best I can with it not being real close to me because you know, being farther away, it's kind of tough to do a bow. But I'm just gonna make it kind of pretty the best I can. But you guys get the gist of it. And then you have a cute, well, you get it, but you get a cute little bow. And then you could, when they wanna open it to put stuff in it, they just open it up and voila, get their stuff out of it. Isn't that cute? So, and again, you can even, you know, decorate this any way that you would like to. You know, you could add um, a tag to the front, uh, do a little tag that has to and from. Um, ooh, jewelry. I like Janet's idea, jewelry. I could go for something new. All righty. So anyway, I hope that you, um, Patty, your wine coolers might be a little too small for this. <clears throat> Unless you get the little, like the little mini, um, Oh, the little mini shot things. Those might fit in there. But anyway, so that's my little 3D project that I wanted to share with you. So if you're ever getting in a bind and you need some quick, easy gift packaging for something small, this is a perfect go-to box or bag, okay? All righty. 3D project out of the way. Woohoo! Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to make, I'm laughing at myself, ladies, because um, 3D projects and me, um, they can be challenging. All right, so where did I put all my cards? Oh, I'm covering them up with the catalog. You guys should see this. I didn't even start yet, and it's already a mess. Okay, so the first card that I'm going to share with you that I created is this beautiful one right here. Using that painted Christmas suite. Now, all of the cards that I'm making tonight, I did. Thank you, Janet. Um, I used both of my bundles to create, okay? So you'll see that I used those shapes that I showed you. I used the ribbon, the little gold embellishments, all kinds of awesome stuff. So um, let's create this one together. Now, because this is pine cones, um, I used a lot of evening evergreen on these cards. I love the evening evergreen and thought it was paired together very nicely with this, um, with this um, product suite. Um, and then I have a piece of evening evergreen as a layer that's five and a quarter by four. I love layers, but I wanted it to stay the green color. And so I just did a layer. I ran it through the embossing folder with that Mary Medley, which is like the music note um, embossing folder. And I'm just gonna adhere that directly onto my card. Speaking of music, I am so proud of Claire. She has signed up for her first solo at Solo Ensemble in February. And so she will be working hard over Christmas break um, to learn her new music piece for that. So we are very stoked. Um, this is the, the one piece that, um, or the, the one of the shapes that I showed you. And you again can use either side. So for this one, I chose this one. But for this card, I'm gonna do it the opposite way to give you guys a little bit of an effect of how you can change things up a little bit and how it's still gonna look really, really pretty. These again are all the shapes that are part of those dies that I showed you, okay? Um, and then before I adhere this one, this is Cherry Cobbler, I'm going to put my ribbon on there and I just put the ribbon on in like a little X pattern. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive down in the middle and I'm gonna use up some of this little ribbon that I have left on this little piece here first. So um, let's see here. I love this ribbon. So I'm just going to crisscross them, put one here like that. And now I can throw away a bolt of ribbon. I hate that when a little bit gets left on. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing, although this one's not cut at an angle, so let me get that cut at an angle, because that will drive me crazy. There we go. And then this one's gonna go on. Make sure I got adhesive there and there, yep, like that. So a new way to use ribbon, if you haven't done it that way yet, and that pretty slick. And now we're gonna go ahead and adhere dimensionals. So let me actually cut this one down a little bit to kind of match the size of the other one because I don't want them to be too much bigger. So now we're gonna put that on with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna actually use four dimensionals on this. So Kathy, I don't know how you are typing. Kathy had surgery on her hand wrist today and um, is one-handed and she is on watching and typing with one hand already. I am impressed. All right, so that's just gonna go on there like that. And then what I did is I did some stamping of some greenery. Um, now again, uh, to save um, a little bit of time and not have to have my machine here, I stamped these. These are stamped images from the Christmas season stamp set, which I'm gonna grab and bring back in here so you can see. Um, these are just um, images from there stamped on Whisper or basic white cardstock and then cut out with the um, embossed die cut machine with the coordinating dies. And uh, these are just layered onto this little piece right here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to those. And we're going to layer one down like this and the other one going this way. Again, you also have those awesome holly berries. Oh, with your thumb. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are the little holly berries. Again, you have this stamp and then the coordinating die. This is stamped with cherry cobbler. These are the colors that are in the designer series paper. So that is why I chose those. And so this is just gonna also get glued down here. And then I stamped Tis the Season. This is also a shape from those dies as well. And that is just gonna go on the bottom down here. And I did use some dimensionals for that. So I'm going to put a dimensional on each end here. And that's gonna go down here like this. And then I had to embellish with those really pretty, pretty, pretty um, little gold leaves. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on there. Let me find my glue dots. My roll is almost gone here. And I'm just gonna add a dot or a leaf in here like that. But look at how pretty and quick and easy that card was to create. And you see the little bit of difference that Designer Series Paper makes just by changing up that DSP? So really quick, simple, easy card. All right, so that is my first card to share with you guys tonight. Um, let me see what's next on the list here, on the pile. How do I have these? Oh, I'm gonna show you this one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how, um, <laughs> okay, you guys are going to laugh at me when you see this card. And I don't know how I didn't notice this. You guys see that? Do you ever do that? Or is it just me? Anyway, we'll have to take that off and put it on there the right way. Anyway, um, but this is the card that I'm going to share with you next. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to stamp this pine cone. So I have a piece of my basic white scrap here. Um, so again, Stampin' Up! makes it so simple for us. So in the um, stamp set, you have two stamps for the pine cone one that is more solid, one that is more detailed, okay? So the more solid one is always gonna be your lighter color. So we are gonna, <laughs> thanks guys, I love it. I love that you guys are right on board with me on that one. So all you're gonna do is you're going to stamp with the lighter color first. So I'm stamping with my, um, with my crumb cake, okay? And then I'm gonna come back in with my um, early espresso, and <laughs> I know it, I went to open it up and I went, you guys, it's the wrong way. Oh, wow. 
And like I said, I'm surprised no one noticed that when they did this class, but you, my, it's in this, I have my, when I do my classes, I leave my cards in my um, little clear envelope. So I'm sure that that's why um, nobody really noticed it. Okay, so I just inked up, this is the more detailed one, and that's gonna go right on top of here. And voila, look at that beautiful pine cone that you have. Stampin' Up! It makes that so darn simple. And then there's a coordinating die for you to be able to cut that out with, all right? And it looks so realistic, so, so realistic. Um, okay, so like I said, I wanted to share that with you to show you how Kathy says blame it on Jen. That's cute. <laughs> all right. Although I think this one's totally on me. But anyway, um, so let me go ahead and show you how I put this card together. So again, I use, like I said, you're going to see a lot of the um, evening evergreen. It To me, it just really um, paired well for me with what I was looking for and trying to accomplish with this. So that is my card base. And then I also have a layer here of the um, uh, uh, evening evergreen. This is one of those new embossing folders uh, that is in our, well, it's not new, I guess I should say it. Well, maybe, I'm trying to think, I think this one might be in our annual catalog, but there's two of them. It's actually designed for the mini, um, for the mini machine. So you can see that it didn't um, uh, emboss all the way to the end, but that is okay because I'm gonna cover that up with some designer series paper. So a little tip and trick there for you that if you ever are like, I can't use that embossing folder because it's narrower for the mini machine, you can just cover up what you can't do with some designer series paper. No one's going to know the difference, right? So, um, or K, I like that. Or I can blame Jen or K. Yeah, so Jen and K are my two that help me um, tremendously here in my basement. Um, and I know I've mentioned both of their names before. So um, they do tons and tons and tons for me. I always say there's no way I could do what I do without my helpers, and I've got a couple awesome ones. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive here on the back of this and wrap that ribbon around. Just on the edge. <laughs> and Kay is watching, so she heard me. All right. Um, I'm the first to admit it. There is no way that I could do what I do without help. Nope. I will give them all the credit in the world. Okay. So then I'm going to just adhere this down to my card base like that. All right. So then I cut out one of those um, awesome big shapes. Okay. Then I use the soft succulent. I really like the soft succulent paired with the evening evergreen. It looks really pretty. In advance, I did a little bit of stamping. So I stamped the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. Now that comes from the Christmas to Remember. So you can see why I've got, um, why the two pair so well together. Because this one has all the sayings in it. If you were to only get the Christmas season, you're not going to get all those awesome greetings. Um, and then I stamped this little image right here. The little, like the spruce looking um, uh, stamp. A few times on top of that. And I did that to give it the look um, so that I could add the pine cone and all of the awesome little things to it. Now, here's where you can go crazy with your layering with dimensionals if you wanted to. Um, and normally I would, but I'm thinking, okay, I don't want to spend a ton for shipping either. So I kind of um, uh, decided to just put this on with dimensionals. And then I just layered the pine cone directly onto it. So I'm just going to adhere this down to my card. So um, by magic, we have one of those pine cones already done. And so I'm just gonna adhere my pine cone down. Again, that was done the way I showed you with the two-step stamping, crumb cake and early espresso. And then you have the little holly leaves, again, stamped with um, evening evergreen ink onto basic white and then using the machine to cut out them because you have shapes for all of these things. So I'm just going to adhere my um, leaves in here like this. However you kind of want to add them at an angle. My holly berries, again, already done in advance, just to save me a little bit of time. Adding my holly berries on. And then, of course, we can't forget those beautiful gold leaves because I love them. So you can add one, two, whatever. You're going to, you know, you, if you buy them, you get the whole pack. 
So you can get um, as creative as you want with adding those. And I am just going to add the one on. And it's gonna go right here in the middle. But there you have it, another fun, beautiful card. Aren't these gorgeous? So and if you really wanted to, you could add the little tie-on with the ribbon, but because this was so big, I didn't think it needed it. So um, there's my second card for you guys. Pretty, pretty, I love all the hearts. Okay, so this next one that I'm gonna do with you, I wanted to showcase just how I use some strips of designer series paper. So this one I chose to focus more on the paper and those little gold, um, the little gold leaves, okay? Again, you're gonna see, when I, got, when I get stuck on a color, I get stuck on a color. So again, evening evergreen, because it just paired so nice with these cards um, and gave it that whole rustic and, and look. Okay, so when you have strips of paper left over, which is what we had, was a lot of strips of paper, um, I cut them into one inch strips, one by four, and then they fit on a piece of cardstock that I think is, hmm, I am not sure the size, but they fit on here perfectly. So it would be four and a quarter by probably maybe three and a half, but I put the two outer ones on first, and then I put the one on in the middle. The one on in the middle might be a little bit longer, so I'm gonna cut that off just a little bit. And we're gonna add those on to this um, piece of cherry cobbler first. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive to that. And put that on here like that. And then we're gonna add the other one on the other side. So I like to do it on the two ends first and that way let me make sure this is oh i did really good at what i cut off so that way i can kind of line up the middle one perfectly with um getting it even and having the right amount of space between it see how easy that is when you do it that way all right so then i'm going to adhere this down to my card right in the middle oh we got to put ribbon on it Gotta add the blingy ribbon. Okay, let me find it here. So we're going to cut a piece wide enough to go across that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive down to it. Maybe, my adhesive's giving me fits tonight. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the um, ribbon down here near the bottom. And now we are good to adhere this down to the middle of my card. I agree, Shireen, the cherry cobbler is really pretty too. You just don't wanna adhere it crooked like I did because I was reading comments instead of paying attention. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna straighten this out for a minute. So I'm not gonna look at the comments for a minute. There we go. All right, and then I did add um, a little bit of the, the ribbon tie on here on this one. So I'm just gonna tie this on like that. And I'm gonna trim up this one and maybe that one as well because it's got a little bit of a frayed edge. And then again, I just use one of those awesome shapes. Stamp the sentiment. Friends like you make this season special. How quick and simple of a card is this to make? One that you could make in duplication really, really quick and easy. So if you send most of your Christmas cards to friends versus family, this would be a great one to do. Or a great sentiment with whatever card design you choose. And then this is gonna get put on the card down here like that. And last but not least, I embellished it with a couple of these awesome leaves. So let me find, oh, and I am out of glue dots. Maybe, yes, I am out of glue dots. Let's see if I can get them to work. Eh, nope. Let me grab my other roll here. Okay. I knew I was getting close, so I was prepared. All right, so I am going to add one down here on the bottom like that. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of a smaller one because again, they come in the two different sizes. And we will add one to this side as well. 
How quick and simple and easy is that one? Thank you, Philomena. Yeah, I love this one too. I, I love the simplicity of it, but yet the paper is just gorgeous with the cherry cobbler. It just really pops, I think so. All right, so let's see here. What have I got left? Oh, I promised you guys that I was gonna show you one of the cards made using that great big die. So let me bring that one in. So when I was um, doing this card in one of my classes, um, I got a true story. So when you look at this, you only see, so this is the great big die, right? The great big die that I showed you, but you only see the outer edge of it. So I was so funny. I had people trying to, you know, punch all this out. And I'm like, ladies, you don't need to worry about the center. Just leave it in there. Why would you go through all that work of punching that out? Um, because, and I, and I, when, uh, when Jen cut it, I told her, don't even make sure and worry about, cause sometimes you got to run it through like a lot to get it to cut. I'm like, no one's going to even need that part cause it's covered right up. So look at that. The part that we need is there. No one's going to see the rest. So another little secret when you're doing something with a big die, if you're covering part of it up, don't worry about making it all pretty. All right. So again, I paired it with my wonderful, um, evening evergreen. And then I have this great big die, and I'm gonna take advantage of all of the space right here to put adhesive on, and I'm only gonna adhere it down um, to the middle. So it's not all, or in the middle, so it's not all adhered down, but I kinda like that effect of it and that look. Okay, so there it's glued down like that. And then you have this great big, this die, I love it, because it's just the perfect size for so many different things. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on that and adhere that down. So we're just gonna put four dimensionals on it. So again, for any of you that joined me a little bit late, um, my Facebook Live next week will also be on Wednesday so that I may go and um, see my girls perform in the Nutcracker. And I will also be volunteering to help at the Nutcracker on Thursday. So um, I'm just going to have to move my Facebook Live next week um, to that as well. Okay. So I just want to make sure that those of you, um, oh yeah, the designer series paper strip. So anyway, this one's not going to have it in that location. We're going to put it on top because I am not going to lift that up. So we're going to improvise and make it different, you guys. Woohoo! What do you think of that? Okay, so we're just going to put it down in the middle. And now we're going to layer our pine cones and things. And this time I'm going to layer them with some dimensions. Isn't it cool how you can just change a card however you would like? <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive down in the middle and add my ribbon down to it. So let me just make sure I cut it the size I need it to be. There we go. And I'm going to cut them at an angle. Okay. So this is what you call, when you guys get kits in the mail and you're not for sure how it all goes together, get creative with it. Change it up. You can make it look any way you want it to look. It does not have to look like the sample that you've seen. You can change it up. So we're gonna add a pine cone there. I'm gonna add, exactly, Lori, change is always good. I like that philosophy. I'm gonna add a pine cone there. And then we're gonna add some of the greenery to the card. We'll add this over here. It'll cover up that little spot there. And you can see I'm not adding a ton of adhesive to it, just a little bit. This one's gonna go over here like that. I kind of like it this way. It looks pretty. This one's going to go underneath here. And then last but not least is my Tis the Season sentiment that will have a couple dimensionals on. So I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals, one on each end of this. Tis the season to be jolly, right? Okay, I know it's not Thanksgiving yet. I know, I know, I know. All right, and then we're gonna put some of the little gold leaves on it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change that up here too. I'm gonna to add one right here. Closer down to the ribbon. 
and where else should I add one? I like them both too. Just a little bit of a different uh, look to it, right? And I'm going to add one up in here because I feel it does need it up in here. All right. Ta-da! There you have it. A little bit of a different take. I am going to trim this ribbon just a little bit more. There you go. Not bad, right? For a mistake and fixing it up and making it uh, uniquely my own. All right. So I do have one more card. I know we are at time, but I'm going to take the time and I am going to do this last card with you. So hopefully you can stick around. Um, usually I like to be done by eight and it is officially 7.59, but um, it's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And so I just want to keep going, right? All right. So I am going to do my last card with you all. So this is this one right here. And this time I did use a different color. Check that out. I used early espresso all right so there we have early espresso and another great way to use designer series paper this one's probably my favorite pattern out of all of them i love this pattern so you're just going to adhere this down to the middle of the card um right into the center like that and then i used the back side of the same designer series paper to put a strip going across like this okay so we're just going to put some adhesive on there like that. Ta-da! So pretty. Using those awesome shapes again. So see, you don't have to do all of them with pine cones if you don't want to. Um, I mean, I did most of them that way. But we, I, I'm just going to put that on with dimensionals. And then I'm going to add some little tails of ribbon underneath of it. So let me put some dimensionals on this. Thank you, Carol. I am glad. Actually, Carol, I think, um, wrong Carol, different Carol has this class coming to her. I just thought about that. So, um, and it might even be going out, um, tonight. We are working on getting some of the kits out tonight. So, um, you'll be able to, uh, hopefully have these early next week with the shipping, um, or post offices being closed for Thanksgiving. It will delay it a little bit. So all I've done is take my ribbon right now and I'm just gonna fold it over and glue it down with a glue dot, okay? So I'm gonna put a glue dot in the middle here. And then all I'm gonna do is fold this at an angle to make those tails, okay? And then that will adhere down like this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here now you could also, if you wanted to, just adhere this on to the back of this, but I like to actually just kind of glue this down so that it's down. And then you can kind of put this on here and cover it up however much of that ribbon that you want to cover up. So I'm just going to take off my dimensionals here and this is gonna go on like that. And then again, those awesome little gold leaves are going to come in. And I'm gonna put one here. And this I used little ones for both. And I'm going to put the other one over here like this. Look at that, how cute and simple. Then I did put a pine cone off to the side. So again, this is just using the um, same two colors, crumb cake and early espresso. And then I ran it through and cut it out with the coordinating die. And I'm gonna put that on with some dimensionals. What I don't, oh, it fell on the floor. So I will pick it up after my Facebook Live, but you can see here I added greenery. Well, maybe I can grab it. Oh yeah, there we go. I added that little bit of greenery on there. And that again is just stamped with garden green. And this I'm just gonna adhere directly on. Oh, actually no, that is stamped with um, evening evergreen. My brain is starting to turn to mush after eight o'clock, I guess, right? All right, so there you have it. Those are all of my projects that I wanted to share with you tonight using the painted Christmas, um, I call it a mega suite. So let me bring all of the cards and projects back in so you guys can see them again. So again, I wanted to remind you of my ordering promotion that is going on. Um, I am really close to my 500,000 career to date sales. And so every, anybody from now until the time that I get there who puts in an order, 
um, will receive a free pack of dimensionals. And then um, the person who does put in the order to get me over will receive, whoops, upside down, will receive a $100 shopping spree courtesy of me um, for supporting me. And I do that with every single $100,000 in sales that I get to. So anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed all of these cards and the cute little project um, that I shared with you tonight. Um, and thank you for spending your Thanksgiving Eve with me and letting me inspire you and share with you a night early. And I wish all of you a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. And I look forward to seeing you all back here again. Next week will also be on Wednesday. After that, we'll be able to go back to Thursday. Um, but I do, like I said, I have two little girls, per not little girls, two young ladies performing in the Nutcracker who would be very disappointed if I was not there after all the hard work they've put into their practicing. So anyway, thank you all so very, very much. Um, there's also that join promotion still going on where you can get $125 of product for $75. If you're interested in that, let me know. I um, would love to have you take advantage of that. Thanks, everyone. Um, have a great evening, wonderful Thanksgiving, and we'll see you back soon. Bye.